Yo, what's up, guys? Thanks to Alan Roman, the man himself, finished third place at Bogota, BDS Bogota with the deck. I decided to do my own take on Pendulum Magicians, but not just my own take, with my boy, Corbin. Bro, Corbin, who are you? The Light Zone God. You're not the Light Zone God. You're the Pendulum Magician God. Yeah. And together, with the Pen God and the Pen Magician God, we're gonna show you guys the Pen Magician updated deck list without Needle Fiber. And as we go on, I will explain what's needed to add Needle Fiber in your deck. Shout out to Corbin for winning an amazing giveaway back when was it fucking 90 years ago, but it doesn't matter because he won anyways because he's the Pen Magician God. So without further ado, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Should they smash the subscribe button? Smash the subscribe button. Should we get 30,000 subscribers by, by the end of this video? Yes. Damn right. You should also smash the like button. Check out this beautiful trick gameplay, man, in the description below. Let's get straight into the video. First and foremost, it is Pendulum Magician Endemian. So, the reason why we're playing the Pendulum Magician, Magician cards is multiple reasons, okay? We're going to start with these. So, you want to play them because of the utility in this format, okay? So, Black Fang destroys window, right? Yes. It obliterates window. A lot of people, just like the cameraman, likes to play Shadal. And if you see the thing with Shadal, if you know how to play against a deck, it's very damn easy to beat. These two outright destroy it. I know Winda can't be destroyed by effects, but when you Pendulum Call, get these two. Put them in your scale, half Winda's attack, and Black Fang stays in the scale. Attack with any of your Dark Spellcasters, Alistair won't do anything because you're gaining an you have your own Alistair and Pro Poison. So you can kill Winda and Kaliga like nothing, and their board is literally baby food. Ten call, get these, scale, pendulum your whole hand, attack, 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 five negates, go ahead, good game, you win. So that's why you want to play Pendulum Magicians right now, and I do believe that's why Alan Roman also found a lot of success at the event. He just destroyed, this deck should destroy Shadal. Yes. Get a Blitter Shadal, and then after you clear that, if they have a Macabre, you go for the Janky Magician, and you go for Harmonizing, which is Harmonizing, because you get a bunch of negates. Post Needle Fiber, you could use these Harmonizings to put up all the negates you want, because a Needle Fiber, like, how broke is Needle Fiber? Very broken. Like, it's absolutely amazing. And you just use Needle Fiber to get all the negates you want. So, post Needle Fiber, the deck's even better. And it is five cards. And hard drawing any of these is not bad. Hard drawing, harmonizing, you still get harmonizing. Hard drawing these, you get the, the, the cards that out window by themselves. And uh, by attack boost. And then janky, you'll be surprised how much work this card puts in. And one more thing to keep in mind, a big brain play that Corbin showed me was... Well, I knew about it in my back of my mind. I am the pen god after all. But he brought this to my attention. If Cerberus gets Ash, it's a problem for Pendulum Magician, right? But if you pen call and get the janky and get the high scale that you're missing, it's really not a problem because most of your stuff's are high levels anyways. So you're gonna if it gets Ash, you're gonna end up pen summoning something like this anyways. So what's the problem? It doesn't matter. You still have three negates through it if Cerberus gets Ash and three negates for five cards is still game. So you have to make sure to play one non-level four just in case the Cerberus does get Ashed. Next. We do play, we are playing a Demian package, so you want to still have the Cerberuses. This card also outs Winda by itself. Jackal is Jackal, and you still want to play two of each of these. In previous Pendulum Magician and Demian lists, I've only, I only played one of these, and I took out Cerberus. But they're all too damn powerful to play. Not to play. You need to play them. Cerberus outs everything. This clear board, I mean, look at him. Yep. yep. Clear everything. Clear everything. Nice board. It's not nice no more, because you clear it all, you get your free negates, and you got Jack on the gates. So you still want to play a healthy amount of negates, and you're playing four Jackals because of these. So you want to play a healthy amount of normal negates that you don't just XYZ with these. Another cool thing with this is it gives you more Absolute, or be able to make Absolute, and you can make Dweller a lot easier, which is game versus a lot of decks. Next. Corbin, quick question. Yeah. What do you think of, of this new Pendulum Magician deck? Dello. Amazing. Who's about to win the the case tournament right now? Trip. No, you. Me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I love it. That's the mentality I want to see. Uh, next, servant. Still gotta play it. It's broken. You are playing obviously five more spells in the deck with pen calls. So servant and abductors are even better. Now, for those people that don't like abductor, tell them how stupid they are. They're very stupid. Very stupid. Just like people who don't play Pendulum. So you want to play your triple abductor. <laughs> you don't have Oaf Dragon in here for a reason. Oaf Dragon is not part of the Magicians. Because you want to have one of these in the scale, which are low scales. Most of the time, it's one of these and Black Fang. And then you search the Harmonizing and Pendant. Make sense? Hopefully now, it does. Quick question for you, Jeff. Yes. Are, you, it, are players, if they wanted to, are, are players able to mix Pendulums with Shadows? No. No? Take those two decks very far away from each other, okay? <laughs> Please. 
You are taking somebody. No, because somebody. Want to see the equivalent? Me. I'll tell you the equivalent. Somebody messaged me. Yeah. On Facebook just a, a few days ago. Yeah. Being like, is it possible to mix pendulums with shadals? Well, I, for the person on Facebook, come follow me for a bit. Okay. You see this wallet? This is pendulums. See okay. this garbage can? That's a doll. Would you do this? <laughs> no. You would not do this because it's stupid. So why would you mix a great thing, money, with a garbage thing, Shadal? Back Makes to sense. the necklace. Please Makes don't do that. It is right. possible. Sounds good. Next, triple chrono time gazer. Now a lot of people cut chrono from the deck. What they don't realize is when you open chronograph in conjunction with the mythical beasts, yep. you offer so much pressure to your opponent that your opponent basically just loses. It also offers a time gazer, which again, people don't realize. You could be you could be amazing at this game, but not many people, it's been so long since pendulum was a thing, they don't even realize time gazer. You face a spiral board, You'll just randomly summon a time gazer. You'll randomly pendulum summon. Uh, they'll think or before you attempt to pendulum summon, they'll be like, uh, "Sleeper effect scales." Uh, no, can you read? And it won't resolve. <laughs> so a lot of people don't realize that. And Chronograph offers a lot here, especially the fact that it's a spell. It's a it helps you make Crowley, which is very important. And when Celine comes out, this is also very important. We decided to keep this somewhat budget. Yes. Because we don't want the world breaking their bank on the deck. I understand Pendulum, we understand Pendulum as a cheap deck. Uh, you can get, get it very cheap. I do play one Magician Souls, okay? So there's a Magician Souls here. I have to, not to play it because I want it to be as budget as possible. I've seen some comments on my last video saying, Hey Triff, can you make a video with, with Appaloosa and Mascarina but no Souls? So if you have one Souls, you can play one Souls because you have lots of uh, doubles in the deck. For example, five pen call, three desires, Cards you might not want to see multiples of. Yeah. That's what one souls is good for. And it offers Abductor the versatility to become a normal summon. Yeah. Because you don't have no level one in the deck. There's no droll in the deck. So it just offers you that. Yeah. So I play one souls. If you can't afford the one souls, play one droll and lockbird instead of the souls. Two blue boy, two secrets, one knowledge. A lot of people play one blue boy. Yeah. I don't know why. Don't you play two. Why. You, you can two. tell him, bro. He played two. That's right. Listen to the pen magician god. Okay. Now, when you go Crowley, yep. you know what blue boy? Impermanence. Oh, no. I can't knowledge. Yes, you can. Chronograph. Also, people don't play this card because they're dumb. <laughs> Summon. Time Gazer. Link. Crowley. Now, you can search for this three again. Yep. If you don't play the second blue boy, the second your blue boy gets hand trapped, impermed, uh, ashed, negated, whatever you can't Crowley again. Yeah. But now when it gets negated, which is a must negate, I'm telling you, you it's a must negate for impermanence. It doesn't matter. They just waste a card for nothing. Yeah. You must play two. And if you draw doubles, it doesn't matter. You play souls in the deck, you play pendulum called discard the extra. Drawing doubles doesn't matter. Now Next. why aren't you playing two knowledge instead of one? Uh because knowledge is a card you don't want to draw. It's kinda like the brick per se, but because you're playing a doctor and souls, you're playing four cards that even if you hard draw the knowledge, you can just use it for a one card. And sometimes if you just hard draw, you can just go into Link 2 anyways. But yeah. it's not, I'd rather not draw the knowledge, but if you draw it, it's fine. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Three desires. Look at this draw power. Like, you're actually never bricking. A lot of you guys think, think, oh, wow, <laughs> pendulums, pendulums brick, bro, pendulums brick. Yeah, your pendulums brick, because a lot of you don't play Into the Void. A lot of you don't play Allure. A lot of you say Desires is bad at three. A lot of you guys say Blue Boy is bad. Nice draw power. You play, like, five draw cards. It doesn't even count as a draw card. Versus... Like, Jeez. every draw card ever made in existence. Yeah. And why are you playing spell counter cards? Why are you playing Servant and Abductor if you're not playing all this? Straight up. There's no other card I'd rather see than Servant, Abductor, and five draw cards. It's just yeah. FTK. There you go. Three mastery. Now, if you guys look at all those green cards, I mean, how, how can you break? It is truly you impossible. You're playing more green cards than, than uh, monster cards. It's impossible to break. In terms of the pendulum call uh, uh, ratio, I'm playing three pen call, two lines. Playing the one Magician Souls allows you, if you were to draw multiple Desires, multiple spell book cards, multiple pen calls, yep. it's totally fine. Because you have triple Abductor and one Souls, that's four Souls, four Magician Souls to get rid of the extra ones. If you if you don't can't afford it, it's totally fine. Yep. Just keep the extra ones. I mean, it doesn't matter. You'll destroy your opponent with three cards. You don't need, like, all of them. Yeah, there you go. That's the, the main deck. Next, the extra deck. Mascarina, Crowley, and Breaker. Yeah. These are the only two's you need. When Needle Fiber comes out, 
But a fourth one for Needle Fiber. I think you can take this out in, magi in the Pendulum Magician version. Shout out my boy Sam. His sleeves are the best in the game. Yeah. Uh, should we get your sleeves soon? Yes. Most you definitely, right? Definitely Make sure you hook me up with a package of those, huh? Oh, definitely. When I do, oh, soon, soon. soon Yo, soon. I want to package gotta get those sleeves, man. 100%, 100%. <laughs> Next, Sayuja. Uh, Next, Appalooza. Don't got a job. Next, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare yep. Unicorn, yep. Boral Load, Boral Sword. You want your options available going second. Yeah. So, wait, Triff, why are you playing Boral Load in the deck? Uh, when you face Spiral, you bait everything. Okay. And your whole goal, Steel Sleeper. Nice. Steel Sleeper, you win. That's oh, it. Okay. You just win. Sounds good. What was the card you were missing there? Uh, Appalooza. Dweller. Narito, this is for some times when yeah. you have no spell trap negates. You want to ensure. I actually have a secret one somewhere in my deck. I, my your my cards. One is, is, is yeah, it's your literally. Shot. I'm just like it's all good. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I'll just flex on them with gold for jokes. Uh, two golds. Even though people say that the ugly is rarity, but guess what? Pendulum is gold, so it doesn't matter. I have a super rare abyssal. Next, absolute and vortex. You play pendulum magician. It's easier to do. Yep. Also, because you're playing Pendulum Magician, you want the Synchro Negates. Yep. Easy to do. Because of Crowley, you could use this, but don't go into Savage Dragon. Be wary. If you don't use Crowley that turn, don't go into Savage Dragon. You'll have zero Link. How many times have you brought out Savage Dragon? I've been testing a few times, uh, but I've been testing a lot with Needle Fiber. I want to show you guys right now how it is without Needle Fiber, because it is still a very good deck, as Alan Roman showed at the UDS Bogota. Yeah. Finished third place with Pendulum Magician. Why? Because that's such an amazing matchup versus the meta. Mm -hmm. So I get destroy Shadal. Shadal is a from buy. And like if you face eight Shadal in your event, you're going 8-0. You could give them the die roll. You could in fact let them go first and take your side deck and throw it away because you don't even need your side deck. <laughs> you just go block bang, effect, pen, attack, win, find a gate, go ahead, and you win. Yeah. Side deck. Do we side? No, we don't side. No, we don't. The best deck. Best mm. deck. Next, the side deck. There we go. So if you can afford this is one this is why I want to show it. So if you have Three evenly is play evenly. I know Lightning Storm is not budget. If you have Lightning Storm, play three Lightning Storm over the three Denko. But if you do not have the Lightning Storms, play three Denko over the Lightning Storms. If you cannot afford evenly, here's what I want you to do. If you can't afford three evenly, those are like these are the seven I would side against trap decks, right? Three Denko, three evenly, one reboot. Or three Lightning Storm, three evenly, one reboot. But if you can't afford evenly or Lightning Storm, I want you to play three Denko. Mm -hmm. One red reboot, this is all good trap decks. One Garuda and one Archfiend Eccentric, okay? So, Archfiend Eccentric, Garuda, Triple Denko, and one red reboot. These are the six you assign in back row if you're playing a budget version. But this is semi budget, as I wanted to explain. So, semi budget, I think evenly is fine for semi budget. And you would play three Denko, one reboot, and three evenly for back row. Mm -hmm. That way, you could let them negate one of these or let them negate one of these and you activate the. Because they'll have one Solemn Judgment, you have to assume. And then you blow them out with the second one. Makes sense. Next, you play against combo decks. Yep. Four Dark Mystic no Mind, wars. three Dark Ruler, <laughs> or three evenly. If you're playing the semi budget, you could choose what, what you want to go in with. Yes. Against, uh, I actually make every single spiral deck go go first after siding, because they're gonna uh, side their own Dark Rulers, and they're gonna brick, and you side all ten. Okay, so that seems like a lot, right? Yeah. But you basically beta one card, or try get whatever it may be, and then you drop a Mystic Mind and win, because they have no out to it. And then after siding, when you go first, one secret village, one terraforming. Uh, because uh, I know there's a lot of decks are playing spellcasters now, but because of IP Masquerina, uh, you could unicorn away the spellcaster and have a secret village, and it's game against a lot of decks. So Masquerina and village is just an OTK when you back it up with five negates. So that's a side deck, that's an extra deck, and I think this deck's absolutely amazing. Before we leave off, Corbin, what do you think of the deck? Amazing deck. It really is. And you're going to see. You guys are going to see. Like, today, we're both going to be playing this deck at the event. Uh, I already know that I'm going XO. I already know that... Oh, shit! Is that... Can we Overlord? Let's go! What's good? Can I get your autograph? Of course you can, bro. Thanks, bro. How many subscribers now? Four? Uh, <laughs> 400. 400? Let's go. Subscribe to my boy. Four, 400 now, but 400,000 soon. Yeah, bro. Kareem Overlord. Go check it out in the description. Yeah, I'm right. Let's go. Hey yeah, guys, hope you guys like this video. Shout out again my boy Corbin for joining off for this video. Subscribe to Corbin Card Game Corner. Oh god yes. Corbin Card Games. Best channel. It's the best third channel. best channel in Canada. It's after true. us. So make sure to subscribe. Both their links will be in the description below. So subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.